the Duke and Dukes took the opening drive of the game in for a score Saturday night, and the Buckdale Bison couldn't come back as Duquesne knocked off the orange and blue 26-7 at Christie Matthews in Memorial Stadium. It wasn't all doom and gloom for the Bison as Buckdale was able to string together some nice defensive plays. Off right to the boundary and he'll get hit behind the line and drag down for a loss of five. Here's Beekle with the snap. He'll go with a quarterback draw or a running back. Oh, oh. fumble the ball and it's recovered from the Bison. Jimmy King on the draw that time to the running back who never got the ball and King got it and a huge turnover for the Bison. Their first this year. They didn't get one last week well, against Maris. And, and this is what we were talking Talking about a little bit of rain, it's hard to hang on to that football when the officials don't have a chance to keep it under the towel. And the offense contributed too. A gun snap to Nitty. He's going to pass on first and ten. He's flushed out the pocket, throws it to Williams. Williams has a first down up to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. He's finally dragged down at the 45 yard line. A screen pass to Williams. The the 42, it'll be a play action. Rolling left is Nitty. Throw it out of the backfield. Man wide open, it's Jake. He'll take it down the first sideline. Inside the Duquesne 40, he'll be wrapped up at the 35-yard line. Great play action. Two receivers out there, hours short. Jagedy deep, and he was brought down by Clapton. But boy, what a great play and well executed for a first. From the shotgun, here is Nitty rolling out of pressure. Throws him in wide open for a first down. Dragging across there is Joey DeFloria in the Pittsburgh. Area product is going to carry that for a first and 10. On first and second and 10, man wide open down the near sideline. It's going to be caught by Hours inside the 35. He'll fight inside the Duquesne 30. He'll fight inside the 28. And Hours will have a first and 10 bison at the Duquesne 30. 26 yard line make it as the defensive stop made by DiNardo, but a first and 10 bison. And really, it's been the Andrew Hours show well, on this drive but there just weren't enough plays like this one by Brian Reagan to pull out the victory. At the last second, great defensive play by Brian Reagan, who tipped the ball at the 35 yard line. And wow, Brian Reagan converted running back. Just got a hand on that. What a great defensive play. Let me tell you, it was fingernails that, you, that he used on that one. He Bucknell was able to move the ball on occasions against Duquesne's defense on Saturday night, including one particular drive in the third quarter, but unfortunately, it ended in disaster for the Bison offense. Bucknell will split two wideouts right. I haven't called Bobby Kazlander's name yet. He's been open a couple of times in this drive. He's over on the far side, Nitty looking to the left. Now he's under pressure, and he's going to roll out. He's going to throw it on the move. It'll be caught! Caught for first down! Guess what? It's number two, but number one in our heart, Bobby Kaslander. You are my hero! A first and 10 Bison at the Duquesne 11. Hours on the near side. Could be a target here on second and six. Blitz is on. Here's a run against him by Williams. He'll break a tackle. A block by Hours and Williams will cross the plane and then he'll fumble the ball. He crossed the plane of the goal and then they said he fumbled in the end zone. He was dragged by Martello of Duquesne and it'll be a touchback. In fact, it would not be until the fourth quarter before the Bison offense would be able to put up some points against the Duquesne Dukes. Third down and three at the 17. Bucknell's nitty back to pass under duress. Steps up. He's going to run. He's going to get to the 10. He's going to get to the 5. He's going to get to the end zone for 6. Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison. RJ Nitty's third rushing touchdown in his first two games. However, even with the heroics for the junior quarterback from New Jersey, the Bison still fell to Duquesne 26-7. Bucknell is back in action next Saturday when they travel to Ithaca, New York to play Cornell. Kickoff 3 p.m. at Sholkoff Field.